morning everybody another day is here are you excited i think i am i think it's gonna no nope. you never say i think i am it i am i am gonna have a good day and so are you so welcome to the vlog if you're new here we make videos almost every day uh, you can go back over the last 10 years that I've been making videos. You can go down to the description of this video and find everything you need to know about me and everywhere you can find me out on the internet other than right here. So yesterday we talked about the spike in diesel prices. Today the topic is going to be from Transportation Nation Network again. They haven't asked me to shout them out or anything. I just find that they have really good trucking news there. Uh, you can go to transportationnation.com if you want to know what I'm talking about. The link is down below as well. Uh, we're going to talk about another spike in prices. The spike of tires. You can go onto their site and find the article. I'm not going to go through the whole article with you on here today because I want you to go there and read it yourself and uh, give them your, your traffic. Uh, but Yokohama, not too sure if you use their tires or not. According to Transportation Nation, uh, they've got really good reporting. Their prices have spiked. Now this is the second time they've spiked in three months and they're citing the reason to be uh, supply chain issues and the cost of manufacturing and the cost of raw materials that keeps rising. So if you do use those tires get ready for another price spike. It seems that that's all the news is nowadays. Eh? <laughs> Everything's getting more expensive. been a windy couple of days but it's okay because the wind is coming from the from the states down south and they're giving us all their warm weather so we're having a very warm October here in Manitoba because of this wind so thank you Americans for sharing that with us you're you're, you're very kind thank you I'll take some more please oh my there's a lot of dust on my truck I hope no one notices look at this can you see it uh, it's not showing up in the video. There's a ring there. Somebody put a coffee mug or something on my hood. I don't think it was me. Don't put stuff on my truck. It's a lot of work keeping this thing clean. I wonder if it was mine. Was it me? Here, let's see. These are the coffee mugs that I use. No, that's not the bottom. Let's see if it matches. Was it me? Nope. It was bigger than mine. Who did it? Who did it? Who put their thermos on my truck? I wonder if it was Brit. She did it at home. Because why would anyone come all the way to the back corner of the yard here just to put a coffee mug on my hood? Why would they do that? No, I don't think that that would have happened. Maybe it was me. I don't know. I'm gonna try not to do that anyway. I gotta clean this dust off of here. It's dirty. It's another good thing about parking all the way in the back corner. If your truck is a little dirty, not as many people notice. Was that my fan belt? Yikes. Squeaky squeakers. Whoa, 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 don't fall down, guys. Don't fall down. You're gonna fall down, aren't you? You're gonna fall down. You better hold you. So, yeah, uh, we don't use Yokohama tires, I don't think. I haven't seen them on any of our units. For our drives, we usually use retreads. Uh, they're cheaper and they're they're really well made, the place we buy them from here. They're the same tires that I put on my Volvo, if you guys have followed me long enough. Remember, I got those retreads. Uh, the steers cannot be retreads, those have to be. Uh, what they call virgin tires never been used but uh the drives in the back they can be retread we'll talk about that maybe later or another time but if you do use yokohama tires uh let me know if you do have you noticed this price increase already what do you think of it I go
another exciting day of trucking begins. We have a 53 foot roll tight flat today. Headed up to Arburg, like I was telling you yesterday. I believe we've got 26 feet of freight to pick up. I think that's what they said. So, uh, uh, be about half the trailer. All right, I've got the truck off right now so you can hear me talk, but mostly so we can hear if there's any air leaks. I have this trailer filled with air right now. Let's go back here, see if we can hear any of it escaping. You know what, let's, let's turn our lights on first and our brake lights. Then I don't have to walk around twice. All right, I checked my headlights when I started the truck. Working, brake lights under here are working. There's no air leaks from the air system whatsoever. Signal lights under here is working. Filled with air. Filled with air, not flat. Filled with air. Now this lift axle does not have any of these ratchets anywhere near it. These will stay to the back because the trailer slopes that way. License plate lights working. There's no marker lights up there, but uh, those three, very important. They have to be working. We're all good. Lift axle, filled with air. I'm gonna try to keep you guys out of the wind here. The Americans are sending their warm weather up pretty quickly, so there's quite a bit of wind coming out of the south towards the north here. Try to keep you out of it. Lights working, all right. Storage boxes are closed and locked. And marker light. On these trailers, there's no marker lights on the top, but there are reflectors and they have to be present. Trailer 603 TLR. I've got another question for you. Can a trucker really climb into his cab and sit down behind the wheel without giving the stick one of these? Is it possible? I don't know. Every time you sit down. Just me? See how this thing slides today. Got her all unhooked already, so. Oh. Needs a little bit of grease. Again. Not bad though, not bad. I haven't greasable this one yet. But it's doing all right still. I can still open it with one hand, just on one side. Let's just put my high-tech brake system in place here. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 not gonna work. It's gotta be in there like that. There we go. That ain't going anywhere. All right, I just gotta wait for him to load me up here. And I'll be on the way.
roll them up and uh, place them in the storage container neatly and properly. It really goes a long way. And I really appreciate not having to spend an hour of my day cleaning it up. But maybe there was a reason. If there was a reason. But if there wasn't a reason, I'm just saying. Impossible. It's really nice to do that for the next driver. If you're in a van, uh, if you're in a van or if you have a van trailer, sweep it out for the next driver. If you got a roll tight, make sure it's all neat for the next driver and put away everything, put away properly. If you got a flatbed, make sure there's nothing left on the deck. You guys get it, right? Of course. I'm preaching to the choir here. You guys are all with it. So while I was here, I polished my whole truck. It's nice and shiny now. Well, as shiny as it can be. <laughs> What's that saying I always say? If it can shine, it'll shine. Or if it can shine, it should shine. Off we go. my stuff in the back including my weasel bed trucks going into the shop tonight uh, my reverse light needs to be repaired again <laughs> it keeps burning out they're gonna they're gonna take a look at it and make sure it's all good to go now uh, they're also taking a look at a few other things on the truck so it should be all good to go probably top off my oil and I'm done for the day I'm going home Everyone's always in such a rush. This guy's right behind me. This guy's always, always. Why is everybody in such a rush? They want to get home to their coach as fast as possible. I have this sneaky suspicion that there's some dogs in here somewhere. I can't smell them. This house actually smells really good. Some people think, oh, you have dogs. It must stink. No, our house actually smells really good. You just, you just have to clean your house and keep your dogs clean. <laughs> Let's see if there's any dogs. In here! Oh, there's dogs! Oh, there's dogs! There's dogs! Oh! Ow, Chevy, watch your paws! Watch your paws, you just about... Remember last week? Remember last week, you just about scratched my nipple off, man? Careful! Things are dangerous! Diesel! Diesel, Weasel! I missed you too! I missed you too! Oh yes, I went to Arbor, but you went without me? Wait a second, let me get a drink. Let me get a drink. This is serious. Chevy. Where did you go? Where did you go? I got a poop! Let me out! Let me out, man! Serious, man. I got one primed and ready. I need to go out. Okay, guys. You guys go. I gotta go find Wiener. There he is. Wiener. <laughs> I'm here. Hi. Hello. Diesel. So about this trip you went on today without me. 
Okay, I love you. I love you, but I'm mad at you. I'm so mad. This is my mad face. Super mad. Why didn't you take me? I should have, Diesel. I'm sorry. It would have been a good day to take him. You're retired, man. And it says you. It says you said I was. I never said I was retired. You said I was retired, man. Look at me. I'm young. I'm spry. I'm still a young puppy. Look at this face. Does this look like an old face to you? Look at this side. That's my good side. Does it look old? Don't answer that. Don't answer. I'm not old. Can you open the door now? I have to pull. Alright, hey Diesel. Come on guys, go, 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 don't step on Wiener, be careful. Oh, and Wiener has just no fear. It just runs right underneath them. You gotta be so careful with his back. He's had expensive surgery on his back already. I gotta be careful. That is my wife's pride and joy. You thought that I was her pride and joy. <laughs> you kidding me? That's her pride and joy right there. So the goal of life for me and every husband is a happy wife, right? Everybody wants a happy wife, happy wife, happy life. So I've got to keep that guy going. He's 11 years old. Okay. And I've just, I've got to keep him going. That's, that's what keeps life going right now. <laughs> she really loves him. Yeah, I, I know she loves me too. And I'm just joking, sort of half joking, but there's some truth to it that uh, she really, 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 really loves her dog. Just like I love Diesel, and just like we love Chevy and the Commander too. But uh, Wiener was, uh, he's been with Britt since he was like 10 weeks old. He's been with her through thick and thin, through a lot more than I've even been with her for. Just like Diesel's been with me longer than Britt has been with me. So in a way, Diesel is my pride and joy. You know, when, when the time comes, and you know, Diesel is, uh, and when it's his time to move on, it's gonna be very, very difficult for me. It's gonna be very hard. But uh, we're not gonna think about that yet, okay? Cause we're gonna feed them right. We're gonna give them all the healthy stuff. We're gonna keep them healthy and we're gonna make them live forever. That's our plan.